In this video, I'm going to show you how you make a number keypad in Excel and then how you can share it with other files once you've made it. I have a blank sheet here. I'm going to select a cell and then I'm going to click keypad and it's going to bring up my number keypad and I'm going to bring it off to the side here. So we're going to click a few numbers, four, five, eight, nine, press enter and it's going to be go into the cell that we have selected. If you're in a warehouse situation, this could be quantity, or you could be in another situation where this could be weight and you want to use the, a touch screen. So let's uh, select another cell and let's hit keypad. We're going to bring it out here and let's say 56.35 and then press enter and that's going to go right in the cell that you have selected. So let me show you how I did this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new file and I'm going to show you from scratch how I, I created this. So I have a brand new file open here. I'm going to the developer tab. I'm going to click on Visual Basic. And then I'm going to go to insert on the Visual Basic window and we're going to insert a user form. So this is going to be our, our number keypad. The first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put in a text box for our numbers to go in as we put them in. So let's click on the text box function here. Let's go over here and we're going to drag it across. I'd like you to say that you need to have the, the properties to, uh, dialog here so that to do that you go uh, right click on your form and you go properties and then this, this menu will be displayed. We need to put in buttons for our keys. So I'm going to go get the button right here and I'm going to go and I'm going to put in the first one. I'm using the reference off the number keypad on my keyboard and so I would like that one to say seven. So I'm going over to the, uh, uh, the properties dialog box and I'm going to put a seven in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one and then I'm going to paste it twice. Okay, and so that one and then we go over to this one and it's going to be 8. And then we go to this one and it's going to be 9. So, of course, you would continue on to get all of the keys that you're needing for your number keypad in here, but I'm just showing you a brief example. The other thing that you're going to um, need is you're going to need a button to enter. So I'm going to put a button here for enter. And I'm going to change the caption to um, enter. Okay, and then I'm going to need a button to clear, so I'm going to put another button in here, and we're going to go clear. And I'm going to change the caption to clear. Let's figure out the code that we're going to need for each of these buttons. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to double click on 7. We are going to write in here we're going to say that whenever um, you hit this button, then the text box, so we're going to go me, which means um, the user form, text box one, because that's what we put at the top, text box one equals me dot text box one. And so I'm going to select it. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the ampersand. So it's like, and if you're going to add on this, and then we're going to put quotations seven and quotations and end, all we need for that one. So let's go back to the user form and let's double click on eight. And basically it's the same thing. Except for that's an eight. Okay. And then we go back to our user form and we double click on nine. 
Same thing except for that's a 9. Let's go on to our enter. We're going to go on a user form and we're going to double click on enter. Is the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare WS as worksheet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set worksheet to active sheet. So we'll go set sheet equals, so whichever sheet you're on is where it's going to be. And so now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to say whatever uh, cell we have selected, we are going to put whatever value we have in the text box into that, into that cell on the sheet. So it's going to look like, so it's basically saying selected cell equals whatever the value of text box one is. And then the, the last button that we're going to do is the clear button. And so what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll double click on clear. And basically what that's going to be is text box one. Equals blank. Go try it out. So I have my user form. I click on the run button here. And I, here I have A1 selected. So let's just try 7, 8, 9, and we're going to enter. Okay, and then uh, we can clear that, or you can clear that by going like this. And now um, that, that's how easy it works. So to, to complete that, you would just, of course, um, fill out all the, the other numbers in your keypad. Now let me show you another really nice thing about this. So I have the original file that I was showing you with the keypad on it. And so let's go um, onto the Developer tab and Visual Basic. Now I renamed on this one my uh, user form one I've named it to keypad number keypad so that I know what I'm doing here what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this now because I'd like to use it in another file so what we're going to do is we're going to export the file so I'm going to ex export this file to a, a test folder that I have on my number or on my desktop we are going to say save Now I've pulled up my barcode inventory sheet. Let's say the client has decided that they want to use this, this as a touch screen. So we have this number keypad that we have made before. So let's go to the developer tab. Let's go to visual basic. Be that I've named it number keypad. So let's click on the test folder that I have on my desktop. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the number keypad and I'm going to drag it over to the file name. And there you have your number keypad. So it's available to you. Now, all you have to do is write a little bit of code to have it come up with the button. Or maybe I'll make a new module. Insert module. And I'm going to write a little bit of code here. And so that, so now it is sub num n u m b. And so now when I go to my sheet here, I'm going to go to the toolbox here and I'm going to go button and I'm going to make a little button here. And I'm going to number here or number. And now I can change the and I can type in keypad and click away. Okay, so if I wanted to put a quantity in here, I would click on the number keypad. And there your number keypad comes up and you can enter 25 and enter. And then we'll put in, close this down and we'll put in uh, 
one, two, three, four, and press enter. And there you go, 25 claw hammers have been added to your thing. So that is how you transfer your number keypad after you've made it in another Excel sheet. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.